In this lecture, let's try to understand what type alias is. Basically, type alias allows us to define a type with a custom name. Let's try to understand it with an example. So let's say for the string type, we want to define a custom name. Now, whenever you want to create a custom type, you use type keyword followed by a name for the type. Here, I am going to call this type as string type. You can name it anything. And to this, we will assign string. Okay, so for this string type, we are creating a custom type called string type. And wherever we want to use this string type, there we can use this custom type also. So for example, I can create a variable str. There I can specify its type as string type equals, let's say some string value. Okay, now if I hover over this str, you see its type is basically string, but we are specifying its type as string type, which we have used as a custom name for the string data type. So this is just the basic concept. Now let's try to understand where we actually use these custom types. So what I will do is I will scroll up to lecture 11. There we had created this function called print status. I'll copy that function and I'll also copy these two calls for that function. Let's scroll down. I'll remove this code or maybe I'll keep it for your reference. Okay. And after that, I'll paste that function. Now here, let's say for this code parameter, we only want string or number value. We don't want Boolean value or null. So I will remove this one from here. All right. So here, when we are specifying the type for this code parameter, we are specifying it as string union number. So instead of specifying it like this, what we can do is we can create a custom type for that. And again, in order to create a custom type, we use type keyword followed by a name for the custom type. And here, let's call this custom type as string or number. You can name it anything. And to this, I'm going to assign this type. Okay. Now, wherever I want to specify the type as string union number there instead of using this code i can simply use this custom type so here for this code i can specify its type as string or number this custom type and if i hover over this code variable this code parameter you can see its type is string or number but if i hover over this string or number you can see it is basically this string union number type so this is where we can use the type alias type alias simply means providing a custom name for your type that's what we are doing here right so this is one example if i save the changes here the application should still be working this function should this function should still be working let's compile this app.ts file and you can see we have these two messages logged here so this function is still working. So this is one use case where you can use a custom type. Let's check another use case. So I'll comment this code. Okay. And now I'll again scroll up to our previous lecture. And from there, I will copy this function and this call to that function. And let me paste it here. Okay. So here also for this role parameter, we have defined a type. Now here, the type is basically literal type. It is a combination of literal and union type. So wherever we want to use this type, currently we will have to type it like this. So let's say there is also another function where we need to specify the type for a parameter, same as this one. So there also we will have to type it. But instead what we can do is, we can create a custom type. For that again, we use type keyword followed by a name. So here I'm going to call it as maybe role type. Again, you can name it anything. And it should be role type. All right. And to this, I'm going to assign this type. So let me cut it from here and let me specify it here. And now wherever we want to assign this type to a variable or to a function parameter, instead of typing this one, we can simply assign role type like this and we should not have any error okay if i 
save the changes and if we run this we should not get any error and we should get the proper result so as you can see it says you have admin permission on this site if i try to assign any other value here apart from these three values for example if i pass abc we should immediately see a compiler error so this is still working let me pass admin here so this is another example where you can use the custom type the type alias so you can also call it as type alias because here we are providing a custom name for this type or you can also call it as custom type because basically we are creating a custom type here to which we are assigning a type which we can use at multiple places all right let me also comment this code now we can also specify a custom type we can also specify a type alias for an object so for example let me scroll up and let's say we have a function let's call this function maybe get full name and to this we are going to specify a parameter called user and from here we are going to return a value and what value are we going to return we are going to return user dot first name plus a space plus user dot last name okay then in the same way i also have a function let's say this function is is eligible for voting this function also is going to take a user parameter and we are expecting that this user parameter is going to be a user object and from here what do we want to return we want to return if user dot age is greater than or equal to 18. so here this user should be an object and in that object we should have a first name property which should be a string value then we should have a last name property again it should be a string value and we should have an age property which should be a number value so this here it is a type for this user object and same type we want to specify for this user parameter also which we are going to receive for this is eligible for voting method okay now instead of repeating this type here like this what we can do is we can create a custom type so here again i can use a type keyword and then i'll simply call it as user with u in caps and to that i will assign this type so here we are creating a custom type and here it should be equal to so here we are creating a custom type where we have a first name of type string we have a last name of type string and we have age of type number okay and now here to this parameter instead of specifying the type like this we can simply specify its type as user because this user is basically this type which we were earlier assigning to this user parameter same thing we can also do here so here also instead of assigning it like this we can simply specify user so this user is our custom type which is equal to this type all right now let's create a user so i'm going to create a user and here let's specify the type of this user as again this user okay now when we have specified its type as user there we need to have a first name property and in the intelligence also you can see those properties let's say first name is john we are going to have a last name property so you can see intelligence is also showing that property name when we have specified its type as user let's say last name is smith and then let's also specify the age property and let's say age is 32 now let's call these two functions so let's call get full name and there let's pass this user object for this user parameter and then let's also call this is eligible for voting and there also let's pass that user object okay let's save the changes and here this get full name and this is eligible for voting it is going to return us some value 
here this get full name it is going to return us a string value and this is eligible for voting it is going to return us a boolean value so let's go ahead and let's log it in the console now let's save the changes let's compile this app.ts file and you can see full name is john smith and is eligible for voting is true because this user.age it is going to be 32 and 32 is greater than 18. So I hope with these examples, now you know what is type alias or what is custom type and when you can use type alias in your TypeScript program. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.